yeah, what it do, baby? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Gina Saiyan Army. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm bugging the fuck out, B. I'm forgetting my gear. I'm forgetting my gear. Wait. Ah. How the fuck do I look now? I'm ready. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. If you're following the channel, thank you for joining the greatest. Can y'all even? Yeah, y'all can hear me. Y'all better hear me. Vegeta deck profile today. Um, when this dude came out, I was worried because he was <laughs> he was kind of bad. Um, I cried when I read him because I read him right after the topo leader that had just come out. Let me tell you, that shit was kind of tragic. That shit hit me hard. I took that L though. But I've been using him, like, ironically at first, because I thought he was going to be really bad. And then he ended up being fire. He ended up being heat. Um, uh, when this card attacks, it draws a card. And then um, when your opponent is at three energy, or when you get to a four life or less, you draw two and awaken. And then if you're at eight life, you can take life all the way down to six um, to do it. With the condition of your opponent being a three energy though, you have to have the unison on board, the two, the, the two cost unison. Um, on the back, he's really cool because he's dual attack. If his power gets nagged and once per turn when he attacks, he draws one. So I'm just gonna get right to it. Hold on, let me let, let me get to the deck. It's a 50 card deck. Go check it out. It's on the bottom, it's in the description. Hold on. It's always a good tip of, tip potato quality when I move it like that. You know what? Let me finish moving it before it crashes like Paul Walker. There you go. All the way to the top left here, we have Gold Tanks, Unison of Rage, right? So his uh, minus, his plus one and his minus two both give my leader dual attack, right? And I'm going to explain what they do later. But so when I play the Gold Tanks, what I like to do is to do the minus five, right? So now my leader has dual attack and 20,000, right? Then I use Monaka to give him double strike. And then I play the Supreme Kai of Time to give him 5,000. Um, then when I swing, I'll send Subin to make him 30,000 double strike dual attack. Leaders that have double strike, 30,000 dual attack are fucking busted. Like, I'm telling you, this leader has been working out for me really well. And I'm not just saying that because this is a Vegeta page because. I'll be the first to tell you, most Vegeta leaders are pretty bad, but this dude has been completely snapped recently, and the way I like to sequence a turn sometimes is um, the minus two from Gotenks. Um, I get to look at my opponent's hand and grab a card um, that's 10,000 or less, or a multicolored battle card of, of any cost. So I've grabbed like Celzinos. Um, so I'll minus two to look at my opponent's hand. I'll swing with it Then I'll tap three for Sin Shenron and then minus two Sin Shenron and look at your hand again And now that I have all this information, I know if I want to commit to the dual attack double strike Um, that's 30,000 Um The rest of the Gotenks unison basically he can uh, take up to one of your life and he gains a marker and he gives them the minus five uh, but the minus 5,000 doesn't matter because every time your opponent's power is negged, you uh, you get 10,000. So he really gives him a 5k pump. Um, on Sin Shenron, the plus one is pretty great. You get to neg two things by 15,000. And the permanent is that you can attack anything in active mode. Um, the Supreme Cup time has been snapped as well. I Basically, the deck is those five cards. Go Tanks, Sin Shenron, Supreme Cup time... Monaka, Sensu Bean. Um, the rest of it is to help it out. Internal energy shift. It untaps a card, it, a battle card, and uh, energy. Um, I run it at two. Um, Broly, Curl of Retribution. It looks at your opponent's hand if they have two energy up. And it grabs something that's 20,000 or less. Um, the Topo is basically defense. I run the Frieza at two. Fair Withered Fiend. Anytime your opponent uses any counter skill, I get to neg one of their cards, 30,000 ignoring barrier. This card, I don't have the heart to take it out. I don't want to. Um, 
I'm basically running the checkland uh, blue red with the Beerus uh, super combo to bring in the coolers. If you guys want to see the actual deck, it's down below. Um, to introduce a finisher, I mean, really, the leader is your finisher. Um, I am running the Frieza no introductions, negate, um, to evolve into the full part Frieza. This has some really good removal. This has some. It's a, it's a really good finisher. I wouldn't shotgun with it again. Battle cards don't feel good to shotgun with anymore. That's why the leader is so good. And the secret rare is the Frieza Army Reborn if you do get your life to two or less. It becomes a five drop for five red. And you get to look at your opponent's hand and take any card out of it. And it's a quadruple strike. So, I mean, if you sequence this right, you can, like, take three cards out of your opponent's hand. Actually, no, because since Shredder isn't on board, my bad. But yeah, I mean, th the deck is really dangerous, really good. Um, Vegeta's exploding weakness is there because a lot of times we don't use our energy in our turn, and he's a good counterplay. And then the Kaioken is there for the Invoker matchup. Um, we're running the blue red check land. If you guys want to see uh, the rest of the deck, again, it's in the description. And on the sideboard, it's it's a pretty simple sideboard. Um, it's the first time I'm not, ru I'm not running Crisis Crusher in like a year. I may put it in instead of the frost and he's here against hand destruction because he makes you draw raditz is here for the untap hate Mijikabora and toa twisted sister that's going to be in my sideboard forever i feel like um i'm running the vegeta savior of the future which is a blue saiyan kaba against uh green decks i just want to be a little bit more aggressive and dark power black mass saiyan I, another card that's probably going to be my sideboard forever. If you guys have questions about the deck, if you guys want to see me use it, if you guys want gameplay, let me know. I gotcha. Thank you for joining the greatest army in the world. Thank you for watching, for liking, subscribing, and I'll see you next time.